In this video we will cover what hyper automation is all about, give you some insights there and explain it in simple terms. Now we all know what RPA is all about. If you've seen our previous videos, we have explained to a fair extent what RPA is. To repeat, I will say that RPA is nothing but the use of technology to automate business processes. And there are certain limitations when it comes to what RPA can do and what it cannot do. So when it comes to the scope of what robotic process automation can do, it's mostly the automation of repetitive, manual and mundane tasks, as well as rule-based tasks that have a particular pattern that can be automated through tools such as uh, Blue Prism, UiPath, or Automation Anywhere, which are all the RPA vendors. If you want to build intelligence into these existing systems, then that takes it a step further. An example of implementing RPA would be where you have uh, to enter time on a daily basis in a system such as Deltek or Uninet, right? And so what RPA can do for you is just at a certain time of the day, maybe 4 or 5 p.m., you can kick off a process that will go into the system that you use for timekeeping and enter the hours that you have on a daily basis. And that is very much repetitive and mundane and satisfies the requirements for RPA, right? So that is an example of RPA. but if you wanted to build more prediction into an existing process that is n not meeting the requirements of RPA then that takes it a step further and that is nothing but hyper automation so hyper automation consists of automating all possible business processes so where you have to incorporate prediction where you have to think of exceptions that's building more intelligence into the system and that is hyper automation so hyper automation you can think of it as driving a car in overdrive right so that's how i how i try to look at it so if you want to incorporate hyper automation you have to not only think of applying rules but then you also have to incorporate augmented intelligence and machine learning what does that mean? So machine learning is all about understanding patterns in data, the underlying data. You need to look at historical data sets in order to build more prediction, in order to understand what is it that I think is going to happen next or what the system is going to do next. So in order to predict the future, normally we have a mindset of looking at historical data sets and that's exactly what machine learning does is look at previous historical data sets and then predict the future trends based on what we already know so that's that's pretty much what hyper automation is is incorporating artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to automate processes that would have not been otherwise been possible through RPA alone right so how do we go about implementing it so you combine RPA with platforms that are more AI ML centric such as data robot which is an automated ML platform <clears throat> you histor uh, you leverage historical data sets in order to build prediction and order to forecast what you think will happen based on the previous trends and you leverage all these uh, in order to build more intelligent systems to predict and think like humans to augment their actions and to pretty much lessen the burden on humans so there it is folks this is what hyper automation is all about we use AI ML platforms and combine it with RPA vendors. This is it folks, we have to implement RPA and combine it with AI ML platforms through historical data sets in order to build more intelligent systems, to build 
hyper automation into your existing portfolio if you have questions around how to build intelligent systems or if you need any qu any questions answered around uh, hyper automation we are happy to help you please contact us at this email provided we also have RPA and AIML certified professionals if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel talk to you soon thank you so much